In this video, I will show you how to see linked accounts on Steam. This should be a quick and easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Now to do this, it's quite a long-winded method. There's no actual direct way to see it in like your settings or your Steam account. So what you actually need to do is launch Steam, log into your account, and if you come up to the top and what you want to do is click on to help up here, and on this menu that comes up, click on to Steam support. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is just scroll down the page until you see the option for Steam client, give that a click, and then what you want to do is click on to offline mode. Now the reason we're coming across to here is because this is how you can actually contact Steam support. So from this screen, you want to come down and click here where it says contact Steam support. What you need to do now is actually send a message to Steam support. So I've actually got a template you can use here if you want to, but basically it just says, Dear Steam support, I require information as to which platforms my current Steam account is linked to. Recently, I have been trying to connect my Steam account to, and then you would put something like, for example, Rockstar Games, but it says that the account already has been linked. Any help would be highly appreciated. Best regards, and then your name. So of course you can use this as a template and then send that across to Steam. Steam. As mentioned, unfortunately, this is the only way to actually see which accounts your Steam is linked to. Hopefully in the future this will change, but what you want to do is send this across and then Steam's going to reach out to you and help you with that issue and hopefully give you the information you require. So that is how to see linked accounts on Steam. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.